Uh, Fortune Cookie, uh, thank you for a $10 super chat. Love the Flywood review. Anytime we, any chance we can see some love for the Odonata? Probably. Eventually, I'll probably. I really liked flying those guys. It made me think I should fly the Odonata, which everybody loves. But now there's so much pressure. Like, oh, Bardwell's going to review the Odonata. If I don't do a good job on the review, and then, God forbid, if I don't love it, I will get so much shit, and that kind of makes me hesitate. Uh, thank you, SSLCM56, for a $5 super chat. If I buy a Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle, Radio Master Boxer, and a pair of 800D goggles, what do I have to do to get them to work? Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle, does that come with Express LRS? I doubt that it does. Could be a four in one boxer though, right? That's possible. He says, oh, what do he I have to do LRS. to get them to work on ELRS? So um, uh -huh. I'm going to assume that you're buying the ELRS version of the boxer, not the four in one. If assuming that you have the ELRS version of the boxer, what I recommend you do is look up a video for how to install a Crossfire receiver. An Express Alerts receiver will drop in exactly like a Crossfire receiver. The wiring is the same. So follow this guide to solder in your Express LRS receiver, and then you have to bind the Express LRS receiver. And what I suggest is this video, the easiest way to flash and bind Express LRS. And that'll show you how to get them bound up. I just installed an ELRS receiver to my Easy Pilot Pro. It binds and I get the right stick inputs. Okay, we got that one. Props and motors are good. Okay, parkour guy, you say props and motors are good. Maybe they are, but I'm going to tell you, I, I can't tell you how many times I have had this conversation with someone where they swear to me that they checked the props in the motor direction and it turns out after, after a week of back and forth that they didn't. And what I mean by that is, here's a really common mistake. In your head, you know that this quadcopter is set up for props out rotation. So you check the motors and props and you go, yep, props out. But what you don't realize is that in the flight controller, accidentally, it has been set to props in rotation. How did it happen? I have no idea. But like, I can't tell you how many times this has happened. After a week of arguing with somebody and trying to help them, they go, oh, you know, I looked in the flight controller. It turns out it was set to props in. I, I don't know how that happened. And at no time in that whole week of, of trying to help them and arguing with them, did they ever actually go look to see if the flight controller was set to props out. They just assumed. So I guess what I'm saying is, and I, I don't want to assume, like, maybe you've checked it correctly. But just based on the back and forth here, I'm not going to make that assumption because of how common it is for people to overlook this stuff. So you say props and motors are good. And now what I say is, does that mean that you actually went and looked at the motors tab, at the diagram, to see what direction the flight controller thinks the motors should be going? Or did you just look at it and go, yeah, that's props out, just like I thought it should be? Etc. I always feel bad saying that because like if I'm actually talking to like the one person in the world who checked it correctly, then they're like, Bardwell, oh, you think I'm an idiot. No, I don't think you're an idiot. I think everyone's an idiot. <laughs> Joke. I'm joking. Please take that in the spirit it was intended. Bardwell's such an asshole. He said everyone's an idiot. I thought he was hopeful. <laughs> um, continuing. We got this Odin out of question already. We'll take that out of the chat. Um, DJ Raw FPV says, Hey JB, I already have a DJI FPV drone. Thank you for $5, DJI Raw. If I buy another drone with a DJI run cam, will the drone, it will it link with a DJI receiver? You bought the DJI FPV drone. That means you have the gray controller. Blunty, help me. He has the gray controller, right? 
DJ FPV drone? Oh no, was Splinty gone again? So I I believe yes, I believe that's the case. I wasn't just doing three yeah. other things. Yep. So yeah, DJ sorry. FPV no drone, great controller is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if you have the gray controller, then you can only bind the gray controller to the Runcam link if you also are using Goggles 2 or Integra. The gray controller will not bind to the Runcam link if the Runcam link is bound to the V2 goggles. Which, if you got the DJI FPV drone, then you probably have the V2 goggles. So the answer to your question is probably no. DJI kind of screwed you over. So... <laughs> Body by FPV says Bardwell kind of did this to me and it turns out I needed it because yeah one of my effing motors was backwards I feel bad because like I had one guy get really mad at me he was like you you were really insulting and, and condescending I don't know what his exact words were but he was like you were really insulting and condescending to me and you talked to me like I was an idiot and I was like I don't take it personally Everyone who calls tech support gets funneled into the same. I, I, if you ever worked tech support, you would know that you you don't know whether the person you're talking to is a complete noob or a really experienced user. So you treat everyone like a complete noob or a complete idiot, as it were. And you you check because if you skip, if you if you make an assumption in step one. You're going to get to step 10 and find out you wasted all that time because the assumption you made in step one was false. And so you try to make no assumptions, including assuming what the user does or does not know. And it means that a user who is intelligent and knows what they're doing is going to have to kind of roll their eyes while you go through the... But you have to understand that's just how it is. Also, I believe it's a rule of troubleshooting that if you do skip something, that'll be it. Absolutely. It seems like that's always the case. If you're like, well, it can't be that, so let's just go past that. And then you get there 10, 15 an hour later, and you're like, well, turns out that was it. Yep. Yeah, and and people email me, and they think that they're having a polite conversation with the person they watch on screen, and they don't realize that they are being funneled into a troubleshooting flowchart. Because when you get 60 to 100 emails a day, you can't have a, a, a deep and personal individualized conversation with every single one of those people, but you still want to help them. And so I just like, okay, receiver not working. Canned response is show me picture of wiring, show me ports tab, show me receiver tab, right? And yeah, we're just going to go through that and I'm going to try to help you. That guy blue, thank you for a $5 super chat. After a hard landing and a light crash, GPS won't find any sats. Should I replace the flight controller? I mean, that's a tough one. I mean, check the wiring. Is the GPS lit up? I probably, I would, uh, it's tough. I don't, I would, that wouldn't be my first guess. My first guess would be like your GPS units messed up. I would replace the GPS first, frankly. If only because the GPS is going to be 20 bucks to replace, the flight controller is going to be 70 bucks and going to be a lot of wiring and, and shit. 